I was a teenager. I went to the hospital for a routine checkup. Even though I didn't tell my parents, I didn't tell my family. It was just routine. A friend knew, one friend. So, you know, I'd just go in and out. I didn't want to worry my mom. So I went in for this routine checkup. And somehow, I don't know what happened on the, the table in the hospital. I just don't know what went wrong. But all of a sudden, I saw myself going through this tunnel. I was in my body in this tunnel, but I was moving at speed. I've, I don't know how to explain that speed, but it was really fast. And it's like I was whirling, you know, just like this. And the noise. I heard that sound. That sound, you know, like maybe maybe it was because of the speed, you know, the, the, the speed I was going at. Maybe that was what was causing the sound. So I was going at full speed through this tunnel, like, like that, at full speed. I can still hear the noise. I was conscious. I knew it was happening, but I had no power whatsoever to stop whatever it was that was happening. No power at all to stop it. So that was just happening and... You know, I, I just couldn't think about, okay, what's going on? Am I dying? I couldn't think about that. But I just was powerless. I could not stop it. And then all of a sudden, it stopped. And I was back in my body. I opened my eyes on the hospital bed. And I'd been, been out for quite a long time, even though it just seemed like five minutes, two minutes. But I'd, apparently, I'd been out for a long time. So when I woke up, there was a nurse sat beside my bed. Because when I opened my eyes, she said, finally, you're awake. The doctor waited and waited and waited and had to leave. So finally, you're awake. So I don't know how long it was, but it seemed like it was a few minutes, my experience. But it must have been hours because they were all waiting and they put this nurse there to check me to see if there's any, any signs, anything. So they left this one solitary nurse and then she said, finally, you're weak. And, you know, as I said, I was a teenager. I didn't think twice about it. Just got up and I was discharged and I left and I never told anyone. And I just put it to the back of my mind. I didn't think about it. But, but later, as I got older, if I hear that somebody died, I'll flash back. To my experience and would go whoa did they have that same experience but they didn't come back so they passed out through the tunnel there have been lots of videos here and there of people saying they saw heaven they saw hell i never saw heaven or hell i never came out of the tunnel maybe those who saw heaven and hell came out of the tunnel and then they had that experience but i never came out to pass through it was from the tunnel there that i came back so I didn't have that experience. I didn't see heaven or hell. I just knew that was it. I was dying. I was going. Could not stop it. Couldn't do anything about it. So I'll be thinking about it. And I'll say, wow, did this person also have this experience? And they went. They passed. They couldn't come back. And then, then later I settled down. I got married. I started having children. And then once in a while, I'll start thinking about it. I said, surely there must have been a reason why God saved me back then. Why he didn't let me die. And I'll be thinking about, see, I don't think he just saved me just to have children, just to get married. There must be a reason. There must be a purpose. And I'll think about it, then I will just dismiss it. You know, I'll think about it and I'll put it to the back of my mind. But I knew that there was something God must have saved me for. There's something that he, he wants me to do. But I didn't know what it was. And then when I started my teaching and I saw how it impacted lives, afterwards people would come up to me and say, Tina, you said something when you were teaching and, you know, that's made me decide to change my life, my the way I'm living and to rededicate my life to Jesus. And then I'll remember and I'll say, oh, okay, is this it? Is this why God saved me? Because I hadn't fulfilled my mission here on earth. 
you know and so many things has happened you know this youtube channel which i started in 2018 i started it first by um summarizing all the books of the bible and as i've said once before six books in i wanted to quit i said no this is going to be too much 66 books i can't do this six books in let me quit and the young lad in um ethiopia sent me a message on facebook my facebook links are in uh, in the description he sent me a message on facebook and said he and his friends always watch my summaries and now they understand the bible a bit better and then i thought oh okay i can't quit now i have to continue so i did it and i finished the summaries of the bible in 11 months is here on my channel the bible with tina so all of these you know throughout the year since this experience happened to me you know and then i think okay god must have saved me for a reason he didn't let me die then as a teenager he thought okay no i haven't finished with her so he sent me back and here i am you know so this short message is just um, an encouragement nobody knows the day or the hour you know we don't know how long god has given us on this earth so now is the time for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. You know, now is the time for you to find out why God created you, why he put you on this earth. Some people do not have a second chance. People who are younger than us die every day. Babies die. We just don't know when, we don't know how. You know, I'm not afraid of death now. I know how it is, the experience of it. There's no point being scared of it because when it happens, you can't stop it. Nothing can stop it, except if it's not your time. You see, even people in the hospital, when they start working on them, you know, they, they put the shock, stand back, shock, you know, to try to bring, unless if God sends you back. Those shocks, they don't always succeed. Most times they fail and the person, they say, they tell the family, sorry, we have to call it, the person's dead. So we have this opportunity now. Let's use it wisely. You know, we 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 just don't know. See this um, coronavirus. Nobody knew this is going to happen, and see so many people are dying. So many people who would have still been alive if there was no coronavirus, they're dead now. So none of us know the day. None of us know the hour. I know if God calls me now, it's because I have finished my assignment. So he didn't, he didn't take me then because I had not even started my assignment. And um, some people have been blessed by my ministry. Those people wouldn't have heard me. I think God must have seen one person and said, no, Tina's going to be useful to this one person. So she can't die yet. So if my time is up, if I've fulfilled my ministry on earth, my destiny, then God will call me home. None of us know the time. So please give your life to jesus today don't waste that opportunity he's calling he's always calling his arms are always open ready to accept you you know just go on your knees declare believe in your heart that he is lord declare with your lips that he is your savior uh, christianity is a simple religion simple gospel you don't have to go and do any elaborate thing to become a christian just believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. That's it. And you become a Christian. So give your life today because none of us know when it will be time. And then it will be too late. There's no repentance in the grave. So that's all I just wanted to say. Just to give you my experience. My near death experience. And um, that's it really. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye.